I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it, I'm moving it. The city is where I'm made, Bostonian flow. I kick it a back day, yeah, I got game. Got in a fan way, we the city of the champs. Every sport we play, it's been wetter than the harbor, yeah. I'm flowing like the Charles. I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles. Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock, and I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock. I be doing big things, don't even have a deal, yeah. I battle through these. Welcome back everyone to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Janalutis, and with today's video, I'm gonna continue on these messages that have been on my heart, just like last week's video. Because it's truly been what I've been walking through. And like I said last week, if it's something that I'm going through, there's a good chance someone else out there is going through it as well. So why not put it out there and try to help someone with it? But before we get this message going, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below so you know exactly when the newest once a week messages are coming out. You don't want to miss what we have coming up ahead. And with the videos that are already out, you may be missing that message that you've been needing to hear for a while now. So go check them out because there's so many. But as for today's message, have you ever had one of those valley moments, the moments where life has not gone as you had planned, as you had hoped, and that hope in you is its shaken. You feel low in the valley rather than high up on those mountain tops that we all love in life when things are just clicking and we're all feeling good. When life is moving, it just feels great. But you're not up top. You're down low in the valley. And no one likes it in the valley. <laughs> Those moments test you. Those moments can break you to remake you. That's when the pressure is turned up and it takes everything you have not to let it out. The valley is when that loneliness can set in. If you don't have your mind right and set on who's with you in those low moments. I hope that little depiction is clicking with some of you. Because at some point, we will all find ourselves in a valley. Maybe you're there now, just trying to climb your way out. Maybe you're someone trying to help someone else out of their valley. But they all come to us. And that's how life works. The mountaintop moments, when everything is going great and life is working out for you, every day feels absolutely incredible, work isn't overwhelming and you're enjoying it, the family is doing well, when you feel that sense of peace that we all try to be in, you truly feel like a blessing is on your life. And if you're faithful or spiritual, you know who holds those moments because he holds the moments in the valley as well. But you wouldn't be able to enjoy those mountaintop moments if you didn't know the valley. And in my own valley moments recently, you question a lot. Because you want to know how you can feel like you're on a mountaintop and then things change at what seems like the snap of a finger. Is it your mindset? Did something really happen to knock you off? Or are you giving your power and your focus to something that you shouldn't be? You question why. Either to yourself or to the big man upstairs. And the questions and the striving for the correct answers you do start to see why you go through the valley. No matter where you get in life, no matter the mountaintop, you learn your next important lesson in the valley. In those low moments, we want so badly to get out of. We want the negativity to stop. We want the pressures of life that we feel to just stop. We want the weight that's on our shoulders to fall off because with every passing moment, it feels heavier and it feels heavier. We just want that sense of peace again. But things seem to be in flow. We want so badly to get out of it. But why get out of it when you can get through it? 
Hear that again. Why get out of it when you can get through it? We always ask, we pray to get out of the tough situations in life. We want an escape. But what are you gaining being in that valley, that trial? What strength are you gaining from walking through it and trying to come out of it? What lessons are you learning and what are you learning about yourself? That valley could reveal so much to you if you let it. We always ask for something to go away, for things to get easier, but we never focus on getting stronger in the trial so we can handle it. And yet, that's what happens to all of us, right? No matter what we go through, we get stronger because of it. Yet we always want to skip over it so it just goes away. So things can feel the same as they did before the tough times came. But let's face it. That's not how life works. The mountaintops are great. But like I said, we could never enjoy them enough if we didn't know what we had to go through to get there. Those tough moments, those moments in the fire, when the pressure is on, those valley moments create the strength that you need to continue to move forward. A lot of people quit in those moments. People break in those moments. But what would happen if you didn't? If you've been through a valley moment, you know what it's like to come out of it. And you can explain to someone to help them come out of theirs. There are so, so many moments in life. Ones that feel good. Ones that feel great. And ones that feel bad. But if you're open to it, each one has a lesson to make you better. Life is a lesson in itself, and it's why we're all here. It's why we find ourselves in the moments that we do, to refine us for what's up ahead. What's in your valley that you need to pick up and pull out as you pull yourself out? Or, what are you meant to leave behind in the valley? Is something dragging you down that you don't need to keep? Leave it there. Walk out and walk up to your mountaintop again. There's a mountaintop moment coming to you, and you need to be refined and ready for it. But that only happens in the valley moments. You're not alone in there, and you're not there forever. But it's up to you to trust, to believe, and to keep your mind right as you come out of it. Because those muscles, those faith muscles, will get stronger. And that's what will sustain you as your life continues to move forward. Keep going. I hope this message runs deep for you. Because whether you're in a valley or not, there's something for you there. But I thank you for tuning in to Once a Week. Like I said at the start of the video, hit the subscribe button below haven't yet click the thumbs up to like this video and if at any time in this video someone popped into your head at any message share this message to them because that's a sign to me that they need it right now and they gotta hear it too and if you or anyone you know is in need of a life coach to help you out of those valley moments and build those strengths go to billygelifecoaching.com for more details and set up a free consultation with me Thank you for tuning in. Until next week, guys. You know I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving.